While Photoshop's latest update was a bit disappointing, at least for me, Adobe Camera Raw 17 does have some awesome new features. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what these features are and I think they are amazing. So Adobe has a new profile, it's called Adobe Adaptive Profile. And Adaptive Profile is a AI powered profile. That means that it's using AI technology to kind of edit your photo. So what it does is it looks at different objects in your photo, like for instance, the background, the foreground and your subject. And it's making the adjustments to these different parts. That means that you have like a editor next to you and that is the Adaptive Profile. Now to show how this works, let's go into Photoshop and here I'm gonna import a raw photo file. For the profile, I'm gonna change it from Adobe Color to Adobe Adaptive and it's gonna analyze the photo and you can already see the changes it made. Let's zoom in here. And when I put the amount to zero, this was the original photo. When I move the slider up, you can see it changes this photo and look how great that looks. So this AI has been trained on thousands of photos from people that were edited. So it looks at the colors, lighting, and even different lighting situations. So during this training process, this AI learned how to edit photos. For most people, this will be probably enough to edit their photo, but obviously I would also change some settings here in the lighting, for instance, make the light exposure a bit lower, increase the contrast, do some highlights, etc. Here is another photo and you can see here the image is pretty dark and the profile is set to Adobe Color now and let's change it to Adobe Adaptive again and look how great it looks. Here we can set the amount again. For this one, I want to go all the way to 100. You can see here it's way too light. So you can use this slightly like, let's say maybe 70 and then also move these sliders around to get the best effect. And you can only use it on raw photos for now, but later you can also use it to smart objects, JPEGs, etc. Now you can see this photo is pretty dark. You can barely see what's going on there. Let's put it to Adobe Adaptive and let's increase this one. And look how great that looks already. Before, after, and I'm boosting it all the way to 100. This photo, you could even increase the exposure here, add some contrast, maybe boost the highlights a bit. And let's zoom in on this photo. You can see this photo has a lot of noise. And that is the next new feature that I think is super awesome. And that is the denoise in Camera Raw. What you need to do is you need to go to the settings of your Camera Raw and then go to Technology Previews. And here you need to enable new AI features and settings panel. And this will give you the new AI features like denoise. Before you can use it, you have to restart your Camera Raw and Photoshop. So do that both, close them both, and then open it up again. And then you have it here. Let's go here to denoise. And here you can see we have denoise. And the good thing about this is it's non-destructive. So when we apply this denoise, we can always change it later on. So the adaptive profile is still beta and it's only available in Camera Raw 17. It will also roll out in Lightroom in the future. But for now, you can see it's beta. So we still have to wait for Lightroom. But if you want to use it, use Camera Raw. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to see what's new in the latest Photoshop, check out this video. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.